All right, so I'm here with Jada. Jada, how old are you? 23. Are you originally from Arizona? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. How long have you been out here in AZ? Um, I've been out here since I was 15. 15? Yeah. Um, and what's your current situation right now? Are you homeless? Yeah. Um, I moved out here when I was 15. Um, I've been out here since um, probably 16. Um, I'm still out here. Um, Yeah, um, it's basically, it's basically like, basically, um, basically hard out here, you know, like when you first come out here and everything, like, like when I first came out here, I didn't know what it was about, I mean, like, I was just curious about, like, how, like, um, everything is out here and stuff, and, um, like, just like my grandpa would say, don't wander too far, you might get lost and not find your way back, and it's like, I got lost, and I was wandering too far about this lifestyle, and, um, now I'm, like, finding my way back slowly. Um, um, when I, my first, um, my first, um, was it, yeah, my, my first, my first charge, like, um, from being homeless was urban camping. It's, it's where, like, if you're in an alleyway and you have, even if I have cardboard like that, yeah, see that cardboard right there? Like, even if you have something like that on the floor, um, it's called urban camping. You get charged for it. You're not allowed to do that in the alleys. Um. And ever since then, my charges kept going on, and just it's like it's like a summit for failure once you're out here. Like yeah, like there's people that tell us like, oh, there's places where you can go. You can go downtown. You can um, have like warehouses where um, they can get you in a place and all this bullshit. But it's just like um, it's like people wasting their time. You mean just like people signing? You can sign all you want, and this won't help everybody else, but I'm just telling you the truth, like, signing, yeah, the money can help us get our clothes and shit like that, but, like, we find, like, people don't like us in dumpsters, but when you're dumpster diving, you can, like, man, it, we we come up, we find 14 karat gold necklaces, we find, um, I found, a, um, from people getting evicted, I found, like, um, uh, 14 karat gold necklaces, 18 karat, but again, like, a bunch of brand new clothes still with tags on it and receipts. You can always return it. Um, you go to Little Caesars or Barrows. Uh, every four hours they throw away food like because they can't keep it there. So like, um, like Little Caesars on 35th and Greenway. I went there one day and there's like 40 boxes of pizza still new, still hot, steaming. Just came out. Like we we have it pretty good out here, honestly. Like um, yeah, it sucks sometimes. Um, there's times like there's like I'm 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 a dumpster diver so like I can you tell me what you need I can take you to any trash can like like I know I know a trash can to go to if I need clothes I know a trash can to go to if I want half half smoked a marble red 100s um um but the thing is it's real out here and like everybody looks at each other as a come up like yeah this is come up come up or um you can't trust nobody like yeah yourself even. Even if you're with somebody, you still can't trust them because, like, when you leave, they'll probably join in the group and still talk shit about you, you know what I mean? But I learned more out here than I've ever learned in, when I was in school, you know I mean? What, um, what's, one of the, what's one of the most important things that you've learned being out here homeless? Um, appreciating, appreciating, um, like, I used to waste food and drinks all the time, you mean, open soda. But now, like, um, I, I learned to appreciate and, um, like, appreciate anything I get, like, the food. I make sure I eat it all. I don't waste it. Um, um, I learned, like, I learned to, like, like, I learned how to be independent, basically. I never thought I would, like, be independent or be by myself, um, be okay with it, you know what I mean? Um, so do you still have your parents out here? Um, my grandparents live somewhere in Kingman. I haven't talked to them since I was like 18. So you came out here with your grandparents, not with mom and my and mom. But okay. my dad, he um passed away when he was um when he was 36 from lung cancer and kidney failure. Um, I'm already starting to have kidney failure. I have um uh, I passed three kidney I passed three kidney stones already. Um, I can't um can't really hold my bladder. So it's like a struggle. Do your 
grandparents and your mom, do they know what situation you're in right now? Do they know that you're homeless? Yeah. Yeah. Do you still keep in contact with them? No? Mm -mm. Why is that? Um, I don't know. They, they disown me. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, every day just makes me stronger, you know? So, like, uh, I don't, I'm independent whether I'm with somebody or, or without somebody just because if they want to get their stuff and leave, they can get their stuff and leave and, and leave my shit because I get everything myself, you know, whether I pay for it or, like, do what I got to do for it. Like, like yeah, I, um, I don't desire shit like that, like, you mean? So, Is that how you survive out here, dumpster dive? I, by the majority, yeah, honestly. What are the hustles do you have? Um, what are the hustles? Um, hustles I have, um, basically, um, dumpster diving, um. You ever panhandle? Yeah, yeah. A, couple, a couple times. A couple times, no, not a lot of times, but the times I do, it's. It doesn't last long, I don't stand out long. I mean, um. And how dangerous is it out here? Honestly, um, it's actually really dangerous. You know, out here, you never know what you're going to expect. You never, like, when people get in fights with you, you never know. People bring a gun, people bring a knife. It's, yeah. it's actually, you can think someone's your best friend, and next thing you know, the person's you're ODing and they're going through your pockets or um, shit like that. Like, you don't, everything's dangerous, you know? Have you ever been through an experience like that where you're overdosing? Um, no. No. I've had experiences where I would waken up and um, I've been sexual t sexually touched or um, shit like that. Um, I've had, like, experiences where I, like, been kidnapped, I've been like, you name it, probably happened, you mean? Like, I, I'm, I'm glad, like, how I've grown up because, like, I, when I say I know everything, I know everything. Like, like you can't lie to lie, you can't play a player, can't cheat on cheater. Like, I've done all that, I said all that. I'm not trying to be a hoe, I'm a time where I was stealing from everybody. And, like, so if you ask me a question, like, if you can come to me and be like, oh, yeah, me and my girl, and then, what do you think my girl's doing? Well, you know what I was doing when I was doing that to my dude? I was cheating on him, you mean? So like, like if you ask me questions, I'm I could be a counselor. Like I, I'm like I could try. I've done all that. I've said all that. I've been in every experience that you can tell me. You mean? Like, uh -uh. So, where do you sleep at night? Alleyways or out here? Just lay out here anywhere. Mm -hmm. Do you mess with any substances? Um, spice, um, other substances, um, rather keep it out of the thing. No blues? No. Um, well, just in case one of your loved ones gets to see this interview, what would you like to tell them? Um, uh, I appreciate them for... Like, basically, I appreciate them for giving me tough love, you mean? Because, like, even though, like, um, I'm not mad at them, you know? Yeah. It made me stronger. It made me, like, I'm just very appreciative, you mean? Because, like, they can only do so much, you mean? Do you, only... do you think that tough love works? In certain situations, yeah. I do. I'm gonna get a drink. All right, Jada. Well, I really do appreciate this. And are you okay with me using it on my YouTube channel? Yeah, you can. Thank you, Jada. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm.